Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and I want to show you today another example of Cypress Data Session. We will use this plugin to create a couple of to-dos for our testing. Right now I want to test that I can complete a to-do by clicking on it and by uh, removing the completed by clicking it again. Now I need a couple of to-dos, these are default, but let's say I want to add a couple of to-dos, let's say three of them. I already have a fixture file with a couple of to-dos, and at the start of each task, I want to recreate the to-dos. It's an expensive operation, so I don't want to delete to-dos and recreate them just because I want to. Right? So it has to be conditional. If I don't have three to-dos, I want to delete existing ones, create the to-dos from a fixture. If there are three to-dos from a fixture, I just want to continue with my test. So here's how we will do this. First of all, we can import fixture directly, which is something I like doing um, in my spec file. So I'm going to go to fixtures and import free uh, JSON. And I want to check it was imported correctly. So I'll just say console log data. Okay, open the dev tools, console object, right, all to this. So that's the list from the fixture of all to this. Nice. Well, let's write before each. And so inside before each, we want to delete to do's if there are to do's and recreate the to do's from the data. I already have utilities for this. For example, I have get to do's and I have delete and I have create. So let's say, right, let's just say delete, right? We can import from utils and before each uh, we'll for now use delete and this is expensive operation so we will modify this later when this runs notice there are no more to do's and we can also import create items and for that we can say create items data all to do's perfect so before each task we delete and recreate the items. We can confirm that if we get to do have length, and even instead of saying free, we can just say data all to do's length. So it's less hard coded. Nice. Now, now let's avoid recreating the to do's, right? Because this is an expensive operation. So we don't want to uh, recreate, delete, and recreate the to's unnecessarily. Okay. So for this, I have a plugin called Cypress Data Session. We can install it as a dev dependency. I'm using NPM. Okay, so I'm going to stop the app, install the plugin. What do we need to do? Uh, in my support file, do I have support file? I don't even have support file, so we can just import it directly into this. Okay, so right here. And let's restart. It has opened Cypress. I was running completes to do spec. Okay, so now let's transform our repetition into condition. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do it. Before each test, we'll say site data session. Okay, and now we need to say, if we just wanna set up, right? Like if we're starting from scratch, what would we do? Well, we would create the to do's, right? And pre-set up, what would we do? Well, we would delete all to this, right? If we want to set up something, right? If we want to create items, if we start from nothing, then we would uh, delete all existing to this. Now, this is complaining because we forgot the most important thing. We have to give our data session a name. So I'll say free to this. Okay, so here's what happens. First time it sees session uh, free to do's, deletes all, so it runs pre setup. Then it runs the setup, set right, like right here. And we can just say scilog create items. Okay, so we ran both pre-setup and setup. So if you do nothing, then this is equivalent to what we had before. But now let's think about what we have achieved. Well, we created three items. So we want to cache those, right? So once we created them, what do we want to store in memory? We probably want to store the actual data or the names, right? So we can say return 
a little complaining about. Create items. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see. Because we don't have a return. That's fine. We'll just say size wrap. And we'll return something from the setup. And this something will be stored in memory. And that's what we can use to verify that we don't have to recreate those items. So what I will do, I will return Cypress map data all to do's and I will extract from the data, let's say just the title. All right. So right now, if we look under Cypress data session and we have session called free to do's stored a function. Uh, we don't want that. We just want actual data. All right. So we created free to do's and we cached just the titles. So now we can continue with our data session. And let me just put on here so we see it right away in the command log. Now we can continue with our data session command. So we validating nothing right now. We're just running through setup. We can actually write validate. And here is what it will get. It's a callback it will be passed whatever we saved and yielded from the setup. In our case, it will be with the titles of to-dos. So we have to check if those to-dos are still valid. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we have to go to the server, fetch the to-dos, right? And see if the list has been updated or not. So I'll say get to-dos, all right? And this coming from which utilities, okay? So this is just making a client call, right? To the server getting all to do's okay and what do we need we actually need to modify it and return the title here okay so if we do that then we get to do's and for now i'll return false meaning the validation failed because i want to print those to do's that's right yeah okay so we fetch the to do's from the server are these the same to do's as what we stored in memory when we created them well let's compare Return Cypress map to do's, right? We extract the titles and the previous titles are right here. So we'll say Cypress is equal titles and whatever we extracted from a server to do's. And here's the beauty. Okay, first time it ran, it says, okay, um, first time, no problem. But if we rerun, Look what happened. We immediately got to the page because it fetched the to-dos, it grabbed the titles, and it compared to whatever it saved in memory under the session. And because the title have not changed, there is no need to recreate them. So the setup and pre-setup steps were skipped. So the validate really returned um, the right stuff and to avoid the warning we can just return this so the cypress data session by storing the mem in memory something and giving you a validate allows you to say do you need to recreate it do you need to run the setup again well look at what you have on the server compare it to what you expect the title and if uh, it's still the same no need to recreate let's say we remove an item we run the test no, it is. It has to recompute data because the validation returned false. From the server, it returned two items. In memory, we have titles of three of items, and it had to rerun and recreate what to do. Here's one more thing. So this allows you to quickly set up the data, and if the data hasn't changed, start the test in the known state. But let's say you complete a to-do. So you'll go here. You'll do pretty much the same thing. And let's say you will complete the middle item. So you'll say equals one, right? Find toggle and I'll just use only. Let's see if it finds the toggle. And it's right there. And we'll say click. Okay, so it did complete the to do. So let's verify it. We'll say equals one. Should have class completed. Perfect. The test is actually working, but Notice right now, we're storing the completed on the server, right? Which means our three to-dos are not what we expected. They now have a completed to-do, okay? So when we toggle an item, that session 
is no longer valid because the data has changed, right? So we can go two ways about it. We can store the title and completion inside the session and compare both the titles and completed properties, and this will invalidate the session. Or we can say, okay, as soon as you click toggle, right? As soon as you've done it, this session is no longer valid. It has to be recreated, okay? So in this case, you can say Cypress uh, clear data session free to this, right? Because you're changing the data. So here's what it have, what it does, okay? Notice um, right now all three are completed. If we run again, it knows the session has to be recreated again because the data has changed. If we run again, it will recreate it. If we run both tests, this particular session is fine with existing data. Okay? So notice it recreated it. Then the second test just start immediately. But then it invalidated the session. So if we rerun the test, it again recreates the data, but immediately starts with the second test because the first test it never invalidates it. So this is how you can quickly set up the data, invalidate it whenever it changes, really changes, and invalidate on demand if the test changes so that the other test can recreate it and start in a known state. So check out Cypress data session, use it, see if it works for you. If not, let me know.